how to turn no into a yes. So today I had to call a bank and you know what happened when you call a bank. They don't want to talk to you, right? Because they're, <laughs> even though they're customer support, they're not really that supportive of you being a customer. And I know a few techniques of how, how to persuade a customer support service person. And I called them and it was for the global cash card bank and the support and say hey this is the niece or whatever her name is and she's like how can I help you and before I answer before I told her how she can help me I wanted to make sure that she actually wants to help me so first of all I you know repeated her name and I asked about her day you know about her week or whatever and then the reason is I want to give her actually time to breathe because her job is just to pick up the phone, and just talk to people and this is what she's doing for eight hours. And what I realized is sometimes people just don't want to talk to people and people anymore, you know, they want to have a break. And so that way I allowed her to, you know, like calm down. Maybe the last call got her nervous or anxious or she was angry or something like that. I'm like, okay, calm down. Like, we're just per people here. And then second of all, I introduced it myself. So I told her who am I, where I live, you know, something about me. So she, she realized she's actually talking to a person, person to person. And then I asked her for my W-2 form. And she's like, no, nope, that's not my job. I was like, okay, I understand. But before you hand it up, let me like ask you like who would you call you know to if you were in the situation i was she's like well i would call my employer i'm like okay i already did that they told me to call you and she's like okay then i would you know log into the website i'm like okay but i don't have a login she's like good okay now we can you know talk about something and I was like okay how about I create a login and you stay on the line and when I you know do that you know we proceed she's like okay and two seconds later she's like you know what how about I do that for you so you don't have to you know uh, do that so you don't have to uh, you know uh, bother yourself and she did that for me and then we went through the whole process i have to do it and then you know after that when i told her i was successful she was super happy like even though we were on the phone i can tell that she was smiling and she was re really genuinely happy and i was able to resolve my problem and then you know we talked a little bit more after that and then you know i said goodbye and i treated her well and she, i can tell that she when she you know uh closed the line she she would be like this is a really really nice guy i wish more people like, like that and that's how you turn no into yes so first of all like the reason like um when you ask a customer support to do something for you they have two options one do that for you or two tell you no and not do that for you right and then your job is to make them uh, feel like doing what you ask them to do like a easier thing so if you ask them hey how would you proceed if you were in my situation so now they cannot say, well, hang up the phone because they wouldn't do that. So they will be like, well, I would call the supervisor or you know what? And then you're like, well, okay, I'll do that. And then what the advice they give to you, you did advice. And now they cannot say, well, I'm not going to help you even though I give you this advice because it doesn't work. And then, you know, you continue that way. And when later you ask for what you want, they cannot say, well, I'm not gonna do it because you're gonna say, why? 
and they probably gonna give you a fake explanation then you're gonna say why and it turns out well it's just easier for them to do it than to explain why they don't want to do it or can't do it and so that's how you turn no into a yes so first of all like give the other person a time to calm down second of all introduce yourself maybe ask them a little bit about themselves so create that person to person connection the third of all uh you're asking for advice not for them to do something for you for you do as much as you can to help them like if they say well i cannot do everything i can do half of it you say good that works for me and then they would be willing to do half you know to meet you at halfway so do as much as you can and most importantly be as polite as you can as kind as you can and i i wish you were like that you know the whole day the whole like if you were like that person but if you're not that person just be like that on the phone and it's gonna do a wonder and that's how you get the customer support to do stuff for you okay i see you tomorrow bye bye